also be you're, you're in the, the, the line following them? It, you know, even to be considered in the same line as, uh, as the gentleman you just mentioned is, is pretty humbling, I think, to all of us. And uh, we certainly stand on the shoulders of giants. And, uh, you know, the best that we can do is take the baton for this, this small, relatively small portion of time that we've been trusted with it and uh, move this program forward and hand it on uh, to the next generation to continue exploration. Uh, I think what really drives everybody toward exploration is different for each person. Uh, some people uh, are focused on the sciences. Some people want to know how did life start? What is the Earth's position in the universe? Uh, some people, uh, you know, are focused on the engineering. How do we make the big engines go? And so, you know, we're always going to continue exploring and moving forward. And uh, at certain times in history, uh, like when, when Armstrong, Collins, and Aldrin uh, took that first flight uh, that ended up with boots on the lunar surface, uh, they appear as giant leaps. And, uh, and as Neil Armstrong said it so well, uh, it was one step for, for him and a giant leap for mankind. And I expect that we are going to have more moments like that in the future. And uh, we certainly stand on the shoulders of giants from the past. Mm -hmm. Big space boots to uh, step into. In, uh, in the few seconds that we have left, is there any message that uh, you folks have for the people of Earth? I think it's the, the power of the human spirit and imagination dream big, chase your dreams. You know, it may not be easy, uh, but if you are persistent and committed, you can overcome those challenges and achieve those, achieve those dreams and, and, and make them come true. And I would add to that too, we often get asked why we explore. Uh, why, why the moon, why Mars, why explore? And I think through the history of humans, uh, we have always had a propensity to explore. We went across lands, we went across waters, we took to flight, and now we take to outer space. And as I just mentioned, everybody's difference and everybody's drive is different on, on that, what that exploration looks like. But I think a better question than why do we explore is who would we be and who would we become if we ever stopped exploring? Well, we are running out of time, so I want to thank uh, NASA's Army Colonel Ann McLean and Air Force Colonel Nick Haig and Christina uh, Cook, and also from the Canadian Space Agency, David St. Jacques, for taking the time to be with us this morning. It has been uh, our privilege, and I think we've learned a lot. And uh, as uh, I'll speak for the people of Earth and say <laughs> thank you so much, and we look forward to your safe return, all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your uh, interest in space exploration. It's certainly an exciting time to be part of it, and uh, thank you for spreading the story. And we certainly hope that uh, it helps get more people involved. And we look forward to joining you back on Earth here shortly. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you, Westwood One. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications. <laughs>